Patrick Hicks here for Craig Tech Tips and today we're going to be going over the fit up of a wedge lock style coupler. Now a few things to keep in mind on your initial fit up. Uh, first off are your contact areas which are here, here and here. These are all machined areas which uh, we recommend that you uh, scrape the paint off of these with a putty knife um, to ensure a tighter fit. So on this middle boss you're going to notice that there's an intentional gap on the back side of it. We put this boss off to the front um, in order to maintain a tight fit from when the coupler's new and as it wears. As the coupler wears, this boss will settle and remain tight against the front side of the saddle. And now moving on to the fit up of the wedge bar. Now we supply a wrench in order to tighten down your bolts on your wedge bar. And once you have your wedge bar tight onto the, uh, onto the uh, lugging of the bucket, uh, there's a locking plate that will go over top of it. This locking plate is meant to keep the bolts from turning out when the coupler and bucket are in use on the excavator. Now the surfaces that you can scrape paint off on your bucket lugging are in this area here and this area here. If after doing this you find that your wedge bar still isn't uh, contacting tight enough, you can sand on the bottom of this surface here, which will allow your wedge bar to move in closer and have a tighter fit. This has been a Craig Tech Tip on Wedge Lock Coupler Fit Up. I'm Patrick Hicks.